This is all about module choice. And the great thing about Trinity is we do have a lot of flexibility. You can change modules. And this afternoon and after this session, that you can go and talk to people who know the system really well. You can get advice now. So talk to people if you're not sure. Okay. So, okay, so School of Physics, uh, it's been around a while. It's on the main campus, and you'll notice. Um, so what is physics? Um, I think you know, Albert Einstein had it pretty much right. It's basically understanding of the physical world. That's everything from the Big Bang to dark matter to stars. I'm, I'm actually an astrophysicist. Um, but I actually did a degree, an undergraduate degree in physics. And in fact, I had the luck that you have is I went to, I actually studied geophysics uh, in another university. And at the end of the first year, they said, Mr. Harper, you will never be a good geologist. Your physics marks look good. I recommend you become a physicist. So I became an astrophysicist instead. So modules and change in flexibility are actually really, really important because right now you don't really know what, you know, what, what it's all about. But physics, you do, I hopefully know what it's about. So in this School of Physics, we actually cover, we do have the astrophysics um, degree, which is called a moderatorship here. Um, so we study some of the bigger scales, and we have members of our 27 uh, member faculty uh, who study everything down to the materials, magnetism, nanomaterials, all the way down. So we, have a, we cover the whole range of physical scales um, in the universe. So we, we are naturally curious people. Okay, so, so hopefully, you know about the dark stuff on the top, and you will probably try it before you leave. Um, and the dark stuff at the bottom there, of course, is dark matter, something we don't understand whatsoever. But it's more, more believable than dark energy, so there you go. OK, so we have two real um, options for doing physics in TR071. Um, if you want to do any of the physics degrees, uh, and we have two, it's physics, and there's physics and astrophysics. Um, they're the moderatorship or degrees, and if you want to take those, you have to do really the core physics programs in the first two years. So you'll see up there these PY1, P10s. You're probably pretty fed up with all these funny codes, but uh, basically the first one is the course before Christmas, and the one the second one is the one after Christmas. So they're 10 credits each, um, so that builds up to 20 credits. And as David was saying, mathematics is our tool. As physicists, we would be useless without mathematics. Right? You can't formulate your ideas and models. You can't compute anything. So we do require the, the basic two modules in first and second year for physics. Um, we do find that most students uh, find the level suitable. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much of a challenge uh, if you're comfortable with mathematics. You, you obviously have to work hard at it. For those of you who really don't want to go on to do a physics or a physics and astrophysics degree, um, especially in the earth sciences or life sciences, we have a slightly more tailored degree, which is um, the foundation physics, which we also run in the first year. That's a 10 credit module. Um, and we'll see that that's tailored for more biological sciences or earth sciences. Now, why would you want to do a degree in physics or physics and astrophysics? Probably not because you want to be a physicist or an astrophysicist. Most of our students don't do that. There aren't that many physicists and astrophysicists in the world to keep generating with that race. But the skills you learn are really transferable. You've got logic, you've got problem solving, formulating problems, computing problems, handling big numbers, strange numbers. And those skills, and a lot of our graduates, they go off into some, I say about a third, could go off into research because it is really interesting. Um, a lot of people go into things like financial markets, analysis of numbers, software, teaching, um, two of the students I had last year, one's doing sports physics, one's doing robotics. You know, these, you know, it's just a really good, broad, transferable skill set. So if you want to be an astrophysicist, you can just do the physics degree. Yeah, I didn't do astrophysics. In my day, you never do astrophysics. Um, so you know, don't think you're locking yourself in. Don't think this is only the outward route. It's really just a really solid background in education, critical thinking. OK, so Trinity is Ireland's premier research university. And by coming here, you get to reap the benefits of that. <coughs> Nearly all our lecturers are world-class research scientists. And these are the people who will be teaching you. So you're not getting someone who knows about something. You're getting someone who does it. You have that passion, the insight. They know, they know the truth about what they're telling you. You know, it's, uh, it's a little more. Um, so that gives uh, a really nice interaction with the problems and the homeworks and things like that. So generally, um, you'll notice in the first year, you have a lot of very Found, uh, sort of fundamental physics. Um, 
So we have classical physics at the beginning, that's before Christmas, Newtonian physics. And then you begin to see things like modern physics. Don't be fooled. Modern physics means it's probably over 100 years old. Okay? Uh, we're, <laughs> we're now in a very different era, but the, the names stick. Um, so we do a lot of lectures, um, but also it's very uh, important for us for having experimental skills. So in the physics, we run one three-hour lab a week for physics. And it's the reasonably well-equipped labs. And it's very important because the continuous assessment you build up from doing the lab work gives you a support in the total mark of your modules. So attendance, diligence, um, very important. And it's, it's well worth doing that from the very beginning. Um, some people feel that it's a bit, because it's a little more casual, that, that you know, they don't try as hard, but it's not in their best interest. And I've been here five years, I can tell you that for, for true. Um, we do also um, have some online tutorial questions, which sometimes they go with a lecture class, sometimes they're a little more general. And also, we do small group tutorials. Now, these are groups where we have, say, six students every two weeks, and you get to be assigned an academic member of staff, and you can talk about anything. Right? That's where you get to talk about problems you're experiencing in the class, things that you just find interesting that's not being taught right now. So that's a very intimate uh, thing where we can look at where your strengths and weaknesses are and try and work on those things. So the tutorials are, are very very important to form a communication with your academic uh, member of staff. So um, just uh, uh, we do offer a couple of scholarships um, for those entering into Junior Fresh. That's, that's you. Uh, JF is Junior Fresh. And also when you go into third year, uh, we do offer one scholarship for each of those for the highest grades for a female. And then we have another one for anyone of either gender. So I think that's 750 per. Um, we also provide, for those doing physics, this handy textbook. And I've actually been working out to lift this one up this year, because each year it gets thicker, the paper gets thinner. Um, so you'll get one of these assigned to you, free. Um, this will cover you pretty much for the first year and a bit. And the online tutorials actually tailor with that. So that's quite, and it does come as a PDF, because we noticed that students don't carry backpacks around, it's smartphones now, right? Um, so that's one thing. Um, the, should be aware, you probably already know, that uh, there's a very active math SOC and phys SOC. Um, those two SOCs get together very uh, well. The interact will have really good uh, trips and meetings. Uh, they really, really enjoy talking to those guys. So get involved if you can. Um, just to show you how we tweak the um, foundation physics, you can see the subjects there are more biologically orientated. Obviously, that's much more relevant for you if you're not wanting to do the full hard physics. So there's a lot more, um, there's a little bit of uh, nuclear physics and stuff which will go for also for the earth sciences. So that is um, sort of a light physics course. Uh, but you don't want to do that if you want to do hard, the hard science. Again, any questions, see us outside. Um, just one thing for those who go on to do the degree in physics or physics after physics, in the final year, the, last sem the first semester is basically given up to a pure solo research project. And because we have researchers in all these different fields, you get to work in a research group. And you get nine weeks, there's no labs or tutorials, you get nine weeks solid to do an individual research project, which forms a very large part of your continuous assessment for the final year. So you get to work in any of these different fields. So that's uh, worth doing. We have um, 100 postgrad students who you'll interact with as well. And I think I'll leave it there. Thank you. Thank you.